But Democratic House member Taylor Bennett of the 80th District, a new member of the legislature and a vocal critic of the religious liberty measure, says he doesn't see the bill moving out of committee in its current form. It is in the House Judiciary Committee, and fortunately I was appointed to that committee, so I'll be right in the, uh, in the middle of that. Um, but, you know, last year uh, the bill did get tabled uh, when Representative Jacobs, who I coincidentally replaced, who went to take a judgeship, tried to enter non-discrimination language in the operative part of the bill. McCoon says that the original bill the Senate passed included protections for the LGBT community and minorities, which has been the biggest concern among opponents of the measure. So the bill that we passed in the Senate had the following language in it, that government has a fundamental overriding interest in eradicating discrimination. Now, I can't think of much stronger language that one could put in to, to uh, address the concerns that have been raised out there. Um, at this point, what we have are folks who are looking to derail this legislation any way they can. But Representative Bennett is still suspicious of the Religious Liberty Bill's intent. Bennett points to what happened when anti-discrimination language was added to the measure late in last year's session. I think it's a very clear indication. I think that the, uh, I, obviously I wasn't there last year, but uh, from my understanding and some quotes uh, that came out of that, uh, that specific hearing that, uh, that, that Senator McCoon was in, I think the question was asked, you know, how would this affect the bill? And then it was, uh, the response was something to the degree of this would completely undermine the intent of the bill. Um, and so I think that that's very telling as to uh, why it was tabled.